You don't think this was done by a judge for political reasons, do you? No. This ruling makes us look weak. President Trump talking tough in the face of another major blow to one of his key policy proposals. This is, in the opinion of many, an unprecedented judicial overreach. A federal judge in Hawaii blocking the administration's revised ban nationwide just hours before it was scheduled to take effect. Ruling that the state had reasonable grounds to challenge the order as religious discrimination and pointing to the president's own words as proof. I think Islam hates us. Is there a war between the West and radical Islam, or is there a war between well, the West and Islam? It's itself? radical, but it's very hard to define. It's very hard to, to separate because you don't know who's who. The judge also citing statements from some of Mr. Trump's top advisors. When he first announced it, he said Muslim ban. He called me up, he said, put a commission together, show me the right way to do it legally. And policy advisor Stephen Miller, who argued last month that the new ban would have the same impact as the old one, which was also blocked by the courts. Mostly minor technical differences. Fundamentally, you're still going to have the same basic policy outcome for the country, but you're going to be responsive to a lot of very technical issues that were brought up by the court. The commander-in-chief arguing that the Constitution grants him the power to suspend immigration when national security is concerned. This is a watered-down version of the first one. I think we ought to go back to the first one and go all the way, which is what I wanted to do in the first place. This setback comes as President Trump unveils his first budget proposal calling for a $54 billion increase in defense spending, offset by massive cuts to the EPA, State Department, Agriculture, and Labor Departments. The president very clearly wants to send a message to our allies and our potential adversaries that this is a strong power administration.